good day. Um, wherever you are in Trinidad or in California, where I am located right now, it's uh, one ten p.m. I'm a couple minutes late. My apologies. Uh, of course, technology has little glitches along the way, and uh, I was not fully prepared for this. Um, well, I shouldn't say I wasn't really fully prepared for it. It's just the uh, um, microphone that I'm using had a conflict with the video camera um, for the broadcast. So, in good day. In doing so, um, I almost took my drums off by trying to uh, listen and to this uh, broadcast on my other browser just to make sure that we have a connection going here. Um, you're going to see my eyes uh, shifting a little bit here. Uh, this is due to the fact that I have two monitors and uh, um, anyhow, with that said, uh, hope everyone is going well or doing well in, in the rest of your classes. Um, the sports management, IT and sports management class that we've had my, my visit to Trinidad, uh, my visit to uh, the UE campus um, was back in October. Um, was quite enjoyable. I, I think I've stated that a couple times to the class, and I, I do miss uh, that those that, that particular week that I was there. So I, I appreciate the uh, time and effort that uh, you made as students uh, attending class as well. The grade, book, uh, the grade book has been updated. The grades have been submitted to the office. And we still have two outstanding assignments, one of which is your uh, final review, sorry, your final exam. And the other is the final paper. Um, those two approximately make up 140 points. Um, so far, the average for the class, uh, everyone is earning A's in the class right now, which is great. I appreciate that. It was, very uh, very good presentations and uh, the papers that have been written so far um, have been very acceptable uh, moving forward. I, I expect nothing less than an A uh, for um, the, the final final project which is uh, due and I'm, I've extended the deadline to be December December 8th. Which is a, which is a Sunday, so if you can get that to me um, December eighth by midnight. Now let's look a little bit with the um, final exam. Now this final exam uh, was not originally planned um, when I had, I wrote the curriculum for uh, or the schedule and also the um, the syllab the syllabus for the class. However, I was requested by the office at the university to definitely assess uh, the knowledge that was conveyed to the class and uh, this is the reason why we have now a multiple choice or a final exam with multiple choice short answer questions um, and the reason why I'm here uh, to, to do a review with you. Um, the exam itself I believe it's going to be covered over a three-hour period, uh, which is quite a lot of time, considering the fact that we only have uh, 30 questions for the final exam. Um, I, I've I've, I'm confident in your abilities uh, to be able to answer these questions without any um, any problems at all. We've covered all the material within this exam and uh, specifically with every area, every area from the infrastructure support with database um, applications and the functions and use of databases to the web and the function and purpose of the internet and websites and communication platforms to security. Uh, we've I've spent a few questions and quite a bit of time with the security infrastructure or planning for any kind of infrastructure implementation. So, with that said, um, we have, again, the, the breakdown of the final exam comprises of essay, which uh, there are 10 questions each, uh, 10 questions for essay questions. I'm sorry to repeat myself that. There are 10 essay questions, of which there are five uh, points uh, 
given to each of the each of the questions. There are ten short answer questions, and uh, we have uh, three points allotted to that, and then we have multiple choice, which is just ten multiple choice questions, and they comprise of true false as well. So pretty straightforward. Um, once you catch up in your reading with, you know, let's let's just go over a few of these here. Um, I think it's important that I, I, I prepare you for the essay questions in particular because um, that has a lot more weight to the point standing for you to earn 100 points, which is a considerable amount of points towards uh, your final grade. Um, I have pretty much touched on the general, uh, general and standard purpose of what uh, information technology is um, and the reason why we use information technology within our fields. Um, you know, given some advantages and disadvantages of computer usage is one of the primary ones. Um, some of the other areas, as I explained this a few minutes ago, about uh, um, data security and the malware and phishing attempts. I'd like you to, to know about that. You should know that period, not only for this class, but for your betterment and when you start working with clients and uh, your other organizations that you're working with. Particularly knowing what a phishing attempt is. If you remember what we spoke about, I gave a lot of uh, uh, humorous examples of the Nigerian prince, and uh, if, you're, if you remember those from class, those are phishing attempts where people try to get you to uh, give them information. So do a little read up on the, the, uh, the presentation material that uh, was distributed. Um, we also look at uh, the different types of connections. Remember, we had some uh, connectivity issues when we were in class, but we found a way. Uh, when we looked at broadband, uh, dial-up connection, uh, wireless systems, the different, the diff the, basically the different type of uh, service that was rendered in that particular session and what's rendered right now on market. Um, we also, you know, as we talked about wireless systems right now, um, looking at ways that you can actually protect your wireless system. Are we going to do some type of encryption? Are we going to do some lockdowns? Are we going to do a MAC address authentication? Um, are we going to have a password to access? You know, little things like that. Um, it's important to, to, to be able to, do, to describe and write about. Um, also looking at ways of, remember we spoke about uh, emergency planning. If, a, if for disaster recovery, if an earthquake or uh, whatever incident may occur within the um, within your infrastructure, within uh, within your country, you know, if something should happen, um, what type of planning and information uh, strategies would you uh, put together to safeguard your resources that are available? Uh, this encompasses as well as the enterprise storage and uh, uh, looking at way of protecting your your data. Uh, if you remember, I, I believe um, I can't remember who who it was though who was working at TSTT and uh, said that they were doing a, a, um, a conversion of uh, files into uh, digital copies, and so they're taking paper files and and digitizing those. That's in, that's that's a form of uh, really becoming more efficient, but even though it's digital, you still need to have backups. And what are, what are the backup procedures to to protect this information? Um, just knowing the basic things is like a, what a content management system is. Remember, we spoke about ERP systems. You guys use a, a combination of Banner, uh, I believe, PeopleSoft at one point. Um, you know, content management itself, that's not really a content management system, but uh, that's a basic, what the ERP system is, is the infrastructure or software infrastructure to support the operations of an organization. Content management system is, in a way, uh, um, a method of, of, uh, of sort of publishing content of that organization. And the name describes it. That's a content management system. It's how do you manage content um, for the web, uh, for mobile phones, for 
uh, televisions. It's a, a repository or a, a system that's been developed to help control information. So for instance, Facebook. Uh, if you log into Facebook and you update your status, that's a content management system because you are getting into a system that is uh, um, putting together information uh, specifically for your your particular uh, business, your particular page, your fan page. So, um, a lot of security, you know, just pay attention to those and that don't forget about it after this class. You need to continue uh, being up to date with that. Um, all right, so I think that's enough there for. Uh, I'm honest here. I'm not trying to throw any curveballs to the class. I'm not that type of, uh, of teacher. Um, being sincere here, and that that general scope is what's covered over into the short answer questions, which we're going to cover right now. And if, we, if you remember, we spoke a little bit about databases and uh, web databases and the different types. Uh, you know, we, we spoke about Microsoft SQL Server. I showed an example of what that infrastructure looks like with all the tables and rows um, and how that runs basically every business. It's a, a method of, uh, of easily controlling the data uh, of an organization and it's taking like a, an access system to another level, much more efficient. And the biggest database provider in the world is, and you guys should know this, um, uh, they're based up in San Francisco area, the Silicon Valley. So we spoke about that in class. Um, you know, how forms uh, connection with uh, uh, databases work. It's an input variables that you are actually entering. So you have a web form that you fill out some information on or with, and uh, that's that can be an efficient way. It's like taking a piece of paper uh, that has uh, information on it. So, for instance, I'm just stretching over here. So we have a we have a, a document here that has some fields. You know, you can actually construct this into a digital digital version to collect that information. So that's a form e-form based system. So anytime you do an application online, that's a form base that goes into a database. Um, looking at uh, both uh, front end and back end, we spoke about uh, we spoke about that. The back end, of course, will be the database systems. What does what does the front end system look like? How do you differentiate the both? What is the function and purpose of of the two? Um, purpose, of course, you should know what the purpose of a database is. You know, uh, name a popular one. You know, that's important. I I need, I need you to become. Uh, familiar with the with the not jargon but the the terminology and the companies that are out there. Um, distinguish uh, the difference between the web, uh, a web website, and a web server. How the two correlate with each other, uh, and the difference in the roles that they both play. Uh, those those are very very important for you to to know. Um, as we said, you know, if you're going to start up your small business, um, you want to be an informed owner, so no one can come across and actually try and pull a quick one on you. So, um, having a having a, the ability to differentiate uh, what systems are supposed to be purchased and what a web server is, what a database server is, what a firewall is, what antivirus software you use, what type of uh, um, of uh, of applications that you're going to have on your network or within your office environment is, is important. So again, having that general scope and understanding is critical to um, to your uh, just a second here, to your basically cost savings. So just log into email to see if anyone has sent me anything just to confirm that everyone is connected or will be connected at some point shortly. Now, uh, to the multiple choice uh, questions, again, very straightforward questions, you know, understanding what document uh, management is, um, what electronic documents are, um, also looking at, uh, 
you know, how data is actually organized and retrieved, what systems are actually used for that. Um, you know, the different types of, uh, we, we spoke about uh, data warehouses, if you remember how, um, how we, I think I went into cube-based data storage. I didn't get into too, too in-depth with it, but uh, we spoke about data warehouses and how those are set up within organizations to help manage massive, massive amounts of, of data. Um, you know, looking at the, the ones that are, um, the companies that are dominating the market, if this is the third time I've actually mentioned this right now, so um, you should know uh, definitely who the, the, the key player in the industry is. Um, now, you should also be aware of what the difference between a desktop, laptop, mainframe computer is. You know, mainframes were um, were a term that was used and equipment that was used heavily back in the day with uh, with with old technology. And uh, mainframes have gone from large, large buildings like telco buildings over into really small, um, and has has also gone into the cloud-based system as well. So uh, things as technology has improved and evolved. Um, so has the footprint that uh, a lot of the, the structures have actually um, has reduced to help and in storage, also increase in storage as well. So, and that's about it. I mean, uh, that is generally what this uh, final exam is about. It's, it's about basically the, the content that we covered, the readings that you should have been doing with... Um, the PowerPoint slides, and you've all attended the lectures. Um, you were there. Um, so, with that being said, you know I, I'm I'm very confident that uh, you all will do well. It's again, it's 30 questions. Um, you have 10 each, so 10 essay, 10 short answer, and then 10 multiple choice and true false as well. So it's it's 30 questions in all. I think it's a very uh, a very straightforward, um, a very straightforward uh, exam, and um, I'm very confident in what you will be able to um, earn this A in this particular class. Now, I'd like to also address now the final project. Now, if you remember correctly, in the final project, let me just bring up the class here. I think everything is kind of shutting down there in UE. Um, we discussed the final project and we submitted it at the end of the semester. The final project includes a description of this, um, will include an emerging technology. I want you to develop a plan and implement a mobile app to support one or more of the following. So how does the app actually support a coach, an athlete, or a sponsor? I have to adjust the, 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 the deadline, which is actually listed here um, as December 1st. I'm going to extend that on to December 8th, as I promised. Um, I want to have a written plan and identification of your audience. I want to have the objectives and expected outcomes of the use of the emerging technology. Um, I, they, I need you to provide the supporting mechanisms, including the IT and technical coaching, or so, sorry, IT and the other technical uh, consultants needed to support your implementation of this application. And what do you plan? I, I need to have a vision. What is your vision for this particular application? Um, this, again, this, this, this has now been adjusted to, um, to support like an overall structure of, of the class. So everything that you've learned throughout the class and throughout uh, your readings as well as the lectures are going to be placed into this particular module. I need you to uh, bring this to the table and explain um, your business mindset and how can this be applied within your field. Um, uh, one, one of the students had a really good idea with the Google Glass uh, um, project that we, we spoke about and I, I still consider that to be a, um, a very good idea and I will recommend that you you do um, you do follow through on that you know if that's your vision don't let cost and all the other things uh, the politics of 
of what goes on around you. You have to focus on uh, things in the big picture and work towards achieving that particular goal. So what I'm saying there is that uh, don't limit yourself by your the external influences. Um, you have become more informed. You've, you're becoming more informed with the other classes that you've, uh, you've taken within this program and your work experience as well. And you want to apply that into a business model that you can uh, make into a profit, you know, to, to have a, a way of life that you can feel comfortable with. So I, I only chose mobile technology because, uh, uh, again, that's my passion, but you may be able to apply something else. You know, it's uh, um, if you feel as though mobile technology is not a cutting edge technology, or emergent technology and you want to implement something else that, uh, I don't know, beam me up Scotty or a hologram or something of that in that nature, you know, please proceed with doing that. So, uh, But just follow the criteria that we have, written plans, identif identify the audience, the objectives. You know, the audience, of course, can be your clients, it can be your other working group. Um, you know, if you're going to go after for, say, the audience of a management perspective from the management angle, how are you going to convince management to, to buy into your idea? That's an audience. You know, you may be writing your plan to support that. Um, so if that's your direction, that's fine. If you want to choose to go after the, uh, the customer, uh, that's your audience. That's fine. If you're going to go after the athlete, which can be considered an audience as well, uh, no problem. Just move forward with uh, definitely um, outlining that. Um, but again, think about this not just by doing this paper just to get a grade. You want to do this to apply what you've learned. This is the important thing of, of education. You, you, you're going to take this information that you've learned in your career so far as a student as well as your work experience and how are you going to do this to make this world a better place? How are you going to make your job more efficient? How are you going to make your athletes more efficient or faster, you know, more competitive to become, you know, winners? You know, are you just going to be a participant or are you going to step above that and become uh, the number one person on the podium? So that's kind of uh, what what uh, this class is about. You know, it's a, it's a slow introduction into this very important um concept of information technology and the use of information te technology into sports management. So I do hope you all took something of value away from, from this. So anyhow, I see I have uh, I had two viewers at one point here in the class. I'm sorry we didn't get to see the video. Uh, you know, this Google Plus Hangout stuff is, is pretty nifty. However, I don't think it's very well documented. Um, I would love to definitely do more with this in the future as for broadcasts, especially if we're at, if we're at a distance. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm here. It's, even though it's Thanksgiving weekend, it's a holiday, I'm, uh, I wanted to let you know that I made the time um, to, to connect with you today. Um, this is my office. This is, a, <laughs> this is a little view out of my office here. It's very beautiful. It's empty, of course, because it's a, it's a holiday. Um, trees are all turning. Um, my office is a bit of a mess. Uh, things have been a little busy here. So with that being said, I will uh, conclude. And um, the uh, I'm available to answer any questions. Just drop me an email. And uh, this recording is, uh, this live broadcast will be recorded and be put on the uh, uh, the Facebook fan site as well I will as well as I will distribute via the forums. Okay, guys, uh, have a great Friday. I know it's it's uh, it's pretty late for you. It's Friday afternoon, uh, TGIF. Um, you know, it's the weekend starts, so get cracking. The final exam is not going to be a a, a big deal. I I I'm, I'm very certain in your abilities. I do trust that the office is actually uh, distributing this content to you and arranging the time and the day and the number of hours uh, for this final exam. If not, just let me know immediately, please. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.